Hey everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video to another dark web documentary video I know this has been long awaited. I'm very sorry. I've been away for a little bit uh, if it wasn't obvious uh, the Kaseya VSA ransomware incident and the print nightmare vulnerability thing kind of blew up my life the past couple of weeks So I've been a little bit busy uh, and I had you know guilt shame the I was diagnosed with the terminal disease of uh, Not being able to feed the YouTube algorithm and the symptoms that come with that when and people are de saying, demanding, John, please give us free content, uh, whatever. <laughs> Every day. Here we are now, again, back with the dark web documentary. Uh, obviously, this is for educational, scientific, artistic research purposes, all about learning and having fun. Um, today, we're going to be looking at some malware marketplaces or some other uh, spooky wooky places on the dark web, corners and crevices of the cobwebs of the internet, chatting about stuff you could get on sale. Either buying a product for doing nefarious stuff or getting hacking services and stuff like that. So uh, let's just dive into it. We don't need to waste any more time. It's already been a minute doing the intro. So here we are. Look, as usual, I have a couple sites already kind of pre-prepared for us. Um, uh, you can see like a couple open tabs in here. And then for the next video, if we do a little bit more of this, we'll explore through our search engines. Um, and I've gathered, I think, a few more search engines, so I might make another video showcasing others of those. But you guys are the ones driving the series. You're letting me know what you'd like to see. So let me know in the comments if there are any other alterations to the style and structure and format of what we're doing here. Anyway... Check it out. We are at the OTX Zero Day Marketplace, <laughs> the number one marketplace for exploits, supposedly. Uh, we are your leading marketplace for high quality exploits and high potential programs and services. Fully documented. Our, our exploits are fully documented with technical details as well as step-by-step -step instructions. Fast delivery. Exploits and other products will promptly be sent to your email when your invoice has been paid. And we guarantee satisfaction. Totally. Entire process is incredibly simple and secure. View our products, place an order, receive your products, and that's about it on the homepage. So let's shop around, shall we? Let's do some window browsing. We provide a proof of concept for all of our products to show that they're verified to be working and of high quality. Every exploit is fully documented with the technical details as well as step-by-step -step instructions. Wait a second, you give a proof of concept? Like you, you offer the POC? Can we just... Get the POC, then? Isn't that enough? <laughs> I mean, it depends, I, I suppose. Um, SS7, SS7 access subscription, starting at $500, that's kind of cheap. Instagram, zero day, 1200. Bitcoin Exploiter, zero day. And Evil Jacker's Sim Jacker. That's a little redundant there, guys. You're saying Jacker twice. Hello, I'm from the Department of Redundancy Department. Gmail, zero day. Snapchat, Zero Day, Facebook, iOS, Safari, Twitter. That's it. These are all your products. <laughs> That's all you got. Uh, let's. What do we want to buy, guys? Let's get the Gmail Zero Day. Can I learn more here? Is that the most expensive thing that you have on the market there? $2,500? Gmail Zero Day. Our Gmail Zero Day exploit is a fully remote exploit. It exploits an authentication email code input vulnerability via a code injection. That sounds smart. You'll be able to receive an authentication code via a burner email to take over the target. Oh, they have a video on YouTube. Maybe that's their proof of concept they're showcasing here. We have to check out this guy's channel. The video is just called Gmail. <laughs> All right, let's mute that real quick. He's got his Kali Linux open, so you know he's a real hacker. Gosh, guys, you got to zoom in on the text. <laughs> Don't you know anything? About presenting content? I'm kidding. Oh, he, re he redacts it. He's, obs he's obscuring it. This quality is garbage. Was this recorded on a toaster? Uh, okay, here we go. I'm sorry, guys. I can't zoom in on this for you as I normally would because this is someone else showcasing their screen. Checking if it's a valid target. Oh, follow us on Instagram. Call to action. Call to action. Marketing makes the world go round. Okay, you can't see anything because this stupid icon is here. Reverse O-Day, zero day. 32 subscribers, should we subscribe? Working, it'll be on its way soon. Great, sending you a authentication email. Be sure to check your spam folder. Whoa, 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 what's this disclaimer up here? Ah, oh, get out of here. 
more videos. After the script is validated, the account will start exploiting the target account in the background via remote code injection. You will then proceed to go on your burner email and get the authentication code. Then go to the open Gmail account page and enter the code. And then you reset the password. Okay. So stop shaking the text, guys. So theoretically, right, like it's a account lockout that you can take over and compromise because you get the code. That is not remote code. In, wait, well, okay, remote code injection. Okay, I was going to say that's not remote code execution. You're not on like Google servers. Nice. Thanks for watching. Contact us for serious inquiries. I can't stay serious if you're just shaking the text around like that. What do you got? Reverse O-Day, Zero Day. Can I go see your channel? Take me there. Before you continue to YouTube. Oh gosh, I'm accessing YouTube on Tor. Defeats <laughs> the purpose. Yeah, In the Tor browser. It's kind of strange. Take me there. Slow. Oh, they're all unlisted videos. He doesn't have anything actually uploaded, supposedly. What's the about section? Back in 2020. Back in July 30th, 2020. All right. Well, that was a uh, jolly ride. A jolly jaunt through that thing. Did it open a new tab? It did. Okay. So, what's weird to me is that if you wanted to purchase the Gmail O'Day or any of these, right, you could be redirected to your homepage, enter your email address, CAPTCHA, lifetime. How do you pay? What did it say? Oh, redirected to our payment page after submitting an email address. You have a terms of service. Let's check out that. What's weird to me is that this has 219 ratings and all of these products have stars. So if you were to go back, right, uh, and buy any of these other ones. They all have ratings. Oh, this one, <laughs> this one doesn't have five stars, guys. You, man, customer satisfaction. Ninety-eight ratings. Oh, another good one. Okay, so the proof of concept that they're showcasing is just the video. Nice. We got to go check out that Instagram account too. That would be fun. The thing is, if it has ratings, as in other people have bought them and used them supposedly, right? Then it's not a zero day anymore. <laughs> like. It, it, it's no longer like a zero day exploit. I don't know how I can harp on this anymore, so I'm not going to. Let's enter an email address. Like, is there any like cheesy validation? Cheesy bacon at protonmail.com. Hit me up. Uh, that CAPTCHA 79XXKD. Totally agree to the terms of service. Yo, let's go see what those terms of service were. Anyone who accesses the marketplace must accept uh, blah, blah, blah. That's it. That, <laughs> that's the whole thing. <laughs> Wait a second. Beware of fake channels. Spe specializes solely in bug research. Okay. I don't think there's much of a terms of service on that. Not going to lie. Anyway, take me there. Did I get that CAPTCHA right? This is this going to be another video where I fail at CAPTCHA? Success! Your invoice has been created. All right. Let's do it. Cheesy Bacon is going to get some good Gmail zero day. That's not a zero day. You got to uh, pay the Bitcoin address. There it is. Now, the question is, can we see how much money that Bitcoin address has already received. <laughs> like, do they use this wallet solely for the... Can I get, like, the Blockchain Explorer and see if DuckDuckGo will take me there? DuckDuckGo is just, like, the default. Yeah, blockchain.com, you can search through it there. It is BTC, is it not? Yeah, Bitcoin. Send exactly whatever amount of money. Search for this address... Uh, BTC address? Yeah, I think. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> he's poor. He's got, uh, he's got nothing to show for it. Business is booming. Is there a BCH? There's no, there's no, what is that? Bitcoin cash? I'm not really a crypto guy. Still, forget nothing. 
<laughs> well, would I give them the benefit of the doubt? Like they somehow have multiple different uh, like Bitcoin addresses. So this was three four YXO thirty four year old is kind of what I'm going to call that. And if I were to go buy something else, let's go get. You know, just to stay timely, let's get the Bitcoin Exploiter. And we could watch that cheesy video. Yeah, $5,000. That's more than our cheesy bacon. Let's say uh, yellow mayonnaise. How do you friggin' spell mayonnaise? <laughs> I feel like there's another N in there. I don't know. Uh, at Proton Mail. So I, I, I sound like I'm really lit and cool because I use that. 64Z. I agree to the four lines of terms of service that you guys have. This has been 10 minutes and we sit on one stinking website. We got to pick up the pace, guys. Is this page going to load? Hey, it's a different Bitcoin address. Oh, I was right. So do you think that they have like a different dedicated um, wallet for each product or is it totally random every time? I mean, you still have to be able to like track all these, but you can have multiple wallets. So if there are so many ratings for the Gmail one, which is totally a lie, that's gotta be a scam. Uh, and this also has zero transactions. That's gotta be freaking hot garbage. You're lying to me. You're obviously we knew as we were going in, but Okay, I feel like we're done with OTX Zero Day Marketplace. That was a fun journey, but we can continue. This was uh, one that came up, uh, Pathfinder Rat. Uh, I like to showcase this one because I think it's good for learning how, or like a good for education and transparency sake of it. People do advertise like just their, their tool, their product out on the spooky dark web. Powerful HTTP Rat FUD fully undetected is what that would mean. Sometimes you hear FUD as in like fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's FUD for fully undetected. Backdoor binder in web-based application system surveillance monitor. Locate, track, manipulate. Pathfinder Rat is a web-based surveillance monitor, blah, blah, blah. Developed by the Mnemonic Group. Uh, I wish that were a link because I'd like to learn more about them. Maybe we can Google them. Add that to the notes. Put it off to the side. Save. Pathfinder is one of the most effective and well-engineered RAT, remote administration tool. Fully detectable. Cool, cool, cool. If you wanted to buy this guy, you know, fork over some Bitcoin and then you can download it. If you want to buy Bitcoin, go to any of the exchanges. Different lists. Oh, and you can email them. Uh, Pathfinder software. Face is in the way. So they offer some screenshots, which is kind of nice. Uh, you get this good looking bootstrap kind of display and they have more. So keep track of the apps. You could navigate around their file system. Kind of slick if you're into that sort of thing, right? <laughs> you get a GUI and server side and client side. Cool. Uh, SS7 and SIGTRAN protocol stacks, I'm not too smart on, so I'm going to act dumb and or, or just genuinely dumb. I'm not acting, I just am. Some of the most powerful features of Pathfinder, all AES encryption, you got a key logger, camera, run on a USB drive. Yeah. Sounds pretty flashy, but if you wanted to, you can pay whatever amount of money for that. Do I have that much Bitcoin? Like, I'm pretty sure I... I have like M Bitcoin, which is like practically nothing, right? I have it, I have it saved on like a wallet, but I just don't do that. So if anyone is curious, if anyone wants to even test the water on this sort of thing, uh, if you're whatever willing to donate, I guess we can find out. <laughs> it's such a stupid ask. Uh, bank hacking software, money transfer hackers. This isn't really a marketplace. This isn't really a, a thing here, some product you can buy. But I do like this whole article on bank hacking. Uh, oh, and we have good comments to look through. That's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of tutorial and tips out there on how to hack a bank account in the bank hacking software. Don't be deceived. You might end up downloading a Trojan. I don't know why I said that weird. Zeusbot or malware. 
Bank hacking is not a hoax. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm not going to read through all this because there's a lot here. <laughs> but uh, I do like the promise. Unlimited money transfer. Be rich forever and always. <laughs> Success rate 100%. Insane. Satan hackers. Yo, is that a link? Oh, it takes me to a different place. I kind of want to know what that is. Not going to lie. That is a link. App box. Priceless for money. So if you were to pay $450, you could get $4,000. Uh, yeah, Satan group. And on. We got to join a few of these Telegram groups. That's got to be something that we that we do in the series. Uh, these comments should be a ton of fun to look through, but yeah, I don't know if I want to dedicate the time into that right now because we're already going on like 16 minutes and we are not even halfway through what we could showcase. <laughs> nice. How much would it cost to get a million dollars? One and a half? No. That's fantastic. Heal my wounds. <laughs> These usernames. Did I miss any other like hilariously strange usernames? Mark the Boss. Golden Queen. I don't know if I... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> we're, we're leaving. We are leaving. Uh, oh, it took us right back to this page. So the Satan group must be them. They're just they're just touting their own horn, tooting their own horn. This is the Prima Marketplace, Prima, however you want to say that. Um, Prima is a secure anonymous marketplace with multi-sig escrow. Ba, 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 ba. You could get, oh, there's a little carousel here that is not going to do anything for me. Fantastic. Anything that you're interested in, guys, get some gift cards. At beast prices. <laughs> there are two E's in that, and it's really funny. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. All right, let's go see what they've got over in this hacking section. If they have anything worthwhile. This is probably going to take a long time. I know it's a little bit slow to bring these pages back. Oh, that one's actually A-OK. -okay. DDoS master, and you get the shady guy in a hoodie. So that way you know it's legit. Got a lot of sales. Ratings are just five dots. What could you sell me, DDoS master? DDoS attacks of any complexity, disabling domains. Full refund. Pull <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, full or partial refund if the item is not as described. Um, those feel like a little counter... Like, say you order a... DDoS attack, distributed denial of service attack. If you don't receive your order, as in it doesn't happen, um, you could get your money back. Full or partial refund, partial refund as in no, they scam you, they're not giving you any money back, maybe a cent. Uh, if the item is not as described, there's like a really gray, really big gray area. Oh, we could send them a message. Oh, we have to log in. It looks like it takes me to a login page. DDoS clear net site. $89. DDoS tour site, $160. Good job. <laughs> That's the comment. Good job. My business rivals got me. Wow. Take out your enemies. Competitive vendors. Pff. Bash them to death, apparently. <laughs> Take them offline. All right, let me... How do I log in? Do I register? Can I create another fake account? I am a returning customer. Yo, let's do it. Let's do it. We haven't been living on the edge enough. Registration of New Year's is just temporarily suspended. What? I wanted to chat with DDoS Master. You don't happen to already have an account for Cheesy Bacon, do you? Uh, password is literally anything super secure. Where is the CAPTCHA? What the F? 
the capture isn't there. <laughs> There's nothing for me. Are you kidding? You're all, you're all fake. You're all frauds. <laughs> All right, here's another good one. Moving on. This is uh, the Hidden Marketplace. I don't see anything actually related to like malware or anything kind of in that world of tech or cybersecurity. Uh, maybe if we were to search for it, we could find it. But hey, the vendor can't scam you. Sure. These are, these are why you should choose the Hidden Marketplace. Uh, you can be assured of your safety and anonymity. Yep, we mix Bitcoins and encrypt messages. Customer support is always ready to help you. 24 hours around the clock. Let's search for malware. If I could type, got a money back guarantee. Let's see how long this takes. It's spinning. There are no products that match the search criteria. All right, let's go broad. Let's go, let's cast a wide net. Friggin' nothing. <laughs> Hidden marketplace, you're not really... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me leave. I don't want that. <laughs> if anyone didn't catch it, there were a decent amount of, like, relatively adult-themed uh, products returned back. So, this is the Los Santos marketplace. Again, I don't see a lot of... Um, I don't see a whole lot... Of like malware stuff, tech or cybersecurity hacking things. How long does tip shipping take? All orders are sent PGP encrypted. Cool. <laughs> what a, is it the same? Is it the same public private key for every single transaction? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. These are good about us pages though you really got to like prove yourself to the market i want to look at this one because this is such a weird website hacking any account of four easy steps again not exactly a oh, strat <laughs> not exactly a malware marketplace um select the service you want to hack and th this would this was quite the promise select the service give us information tell us Everything that you know, pay Bitcoin, of course, and get the result. It's just that easy. Four easy steps. Go ahead and strat. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing with, with Gmail along these days. Who do you want to hack? There'll be a login password. Uh, please help. I need. Subscribe. Pay now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having fun with this. Okay. After the payment, we'll start working. Yeah, sure. Okay. On average, hacking lasts from 1 to 38 hours. That's a, such an odd number to choose. Check the correctness of the entered data. Let's take a gander at what that wallet has received. If it has received anything. Am I doing this wrong? Like everything I, I see is returning back zero. Am I am I making a mistake somehow? All right. I know you're spinning, but we got people on the internet waiting and watching. Come on. I'm gonna have to do this on the clear net. Whatever, we'll leave it be. 35W, 35 watts. That's what we'll call that. There we go. Just as I was going to step away, speak the devil, except we have to click on another intermediary link. Check the payment. I totally didn't send you money. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? I wonder if it says that no matter whether or not you paid or not. Like, this has 13 transactions. It's received a total of $387. Oh, wow. Send some of it out. Nice. I mean, not that that's nice, but not a lot of money at the moment. $387? Like, that's your allowance. I don't know. I don't know if that actually is an allowance or not, but 
This I want to spend some time on because I think this one would be really, really fun. Best Carding World. This is a forum. It looks a lot like a uh, Torum cleaner, like a, a duplicate Torum sort of thing. So their Hacker Zone is part of their forum. And I haven't actually checked out what else they have in here because I'm sure there's some other strange things. Yeah. Proxies, anonymities, the Hacker Zone stuff, carding, market. Ooh. PayPal services, PayPal dealing with Western Union stuff. Interesting, but the malware section, right? The tools and exploits, those are all kind of a little bit more that I'm interested in because that's kind of the whole point of this video was to find uh, malware marketplaces. So if we take Gander, you can see Trojan Horses, Open Source Rat, another remote access Trojan. If it's open source, what are they like, link a GitHub? Uh, backdoor. Vanilla Rat, Lime Cryptor, Lime Rat, another Crypto Locker. Is that going to be ransomware? Cross-site scripting worm pock? Or is that supposed to be XSS like one of the like hacker forums? Hello, this is my first thread. I can't find an introduction. So here's my stuff. Here's my rat. Mm. <laughs> Before sending an infected file, make sure that's not detected using anti-scan me or no distribute. That's kind of slick. I don't think I've actually made any videos on uh, anti-scan me and some of that. Oh, oh, it's just it's just listing open source rats like the fat rat, quasar, and some of the. Okay, okay. Not exactly the most interesting thing, but still, like, oh, this is a decent list, not gonna lie. <laughs> Listing out C2 frameworks, he's got, he's got Empire and Covenant. Puppy and Silent Trinity, that's awesome. You know what? You know what, Cyber Jagu? Respect. If, it, if this were Reddit, I would upvote that. I'd give gold. <laughs> I don't even know what, what you do, how did that happen in Reddit? What is gold? Hey there, Hack Pro. Wait a second. Is this guy's name Hack Pro? Hack Pro. Would you mind adding me on tele? <laughs> like, that clearly means, means telegram, but I have to think it's like, oh, telephone. TV, television. My tele, Gerard the Noob, 850. I don't know why you'd want to associate with Hack Pro. Gerard the Noob? He's out of your league. If you're a self-proclaimed noob... Trying to associate with Hack Pro. Lime Cryptor. Oh, it's got a Nyan Cat logo. That's kind of fun. That's it. That is the whole thing. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's Hack Pro again. Hack Pro's doing the rounds. What is it? He's freaking. He owns this section. Again, completely useless post here. Like. Can I download this? Can you share the link? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this a link? This is yet another, though, like open source one. Nyan Cat, are you Hack Pro? We gotta know. We have to know. I don't have YouTube channel. <laughs> Not even, pff, call yourself a, I'm just kidding. I, having a YouTube channel is not a uh, badge of honor here. <laughs> a lot of uh, spooky, sketchy stuff though, right? I mean, it's obviously on GitHub, like it's public. Anyone can, can bump around and grab this, but malware shell. Some of this is kind of like actually shady. Some of this is actually pretty good. I would have to think. Like being on the offensive, you know, doing adversarial emulation. There's some good stuff in here. I would like to look around. I would love to play with some of these. Lime Rat. This is Bayonet, not uh, Hack Pro anymore. Absolutely imperceptible. What does that mean? Is that a word? I, I, I might be showing, again, my idiocy. Oh, I don't know. Imperceptible is a word. <laughs> I 
impossible to see receive. So subtle. Wow. I mean, that makes sense. You know, you can't perceive it. But it's just, I've never heard of that, uh, like, being referred to for exploits. <laughs> Market.ms. Uh, nope. That's dead. That page is dead. So there wasn't a whole lot to look around. Oh, this guy links to Bishop Fox. <laughs> There's no... Con this, uh, this forum has to be, like, dead. The tools in here might be a little bit more interesting. Yeah, because these are actually kind of recent. July 1st. Sort of. Actually, zero replies on here. But whatever. It's no Torum. I'll give him that. Meh. Meh. This is uh, the Boga Marketplace. <laughs> you can buy Minecraft. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I think that that is something that you should just flaunt and tout. I can't click on any of these links. These all go to nowhere. But like imagine like, hey, you're a, you're a schoolboy kiddo. You're rolling up to sixth grade, going out for recess. And you tell your buddies, bro, I got my copy of Minecraft on the dark web. Escrow rules and buy with escrow. These are actually links though. Okay, it's taking me somewhere. Um... Um, 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 please load. Oh, Sh free shipping. It's digital, dude. <laughs> Payment method, Bitcoin. Oh, just enter your actual uh, name, country, city, street address, and zip code. Totally, obviously. That's the only way to do it. iCloud unlocker software. Bitcoin stealer mass generator. More than 0.08... Bitcoin a day. Raking it in, bro. What is this? Oh, under market? So uh, I look at this and apparently I, I have to think this is like a, a spicy one. But I don't, again, see like any malware or hacking things. It's It's... It's hard to find a definitive um, distinction between hacking services, like, oh, someone will go ahead and hack something for you, or a, uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Hacking. Or, or like malware, like, or an actual program or product that does shady stuff. Because it would be very, very, I think it would be cool to find more hacking malware, like Pathfinder, but again, if we were to, like, purchase that or, or dig into it or play with it we could have done that with some of those github ones but it's all open source so oh true money true money i've i've, I've showcased before i think i don't know if i have or not um but if you want to look for hacking services right in here you can get another ddos attack that's all the rage and custom made ransomware for a cheap cheap cost right 99 dollars for a ddos attack <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm realizing, like, saying that out loud, it sounds so stupid. Nothing else on this page other than a crap ton of tags. Phone hacking, hacking operating system, Facebook and Instagram hacking, blah, blah, blah. Did we even get to best market? I don't think we did. Here's a custom made ransomware on True Money. Ransomware is a form of malware where person attack victim system with malicious code. Their intent is to lock out a system and encrypt important and sensitive data. If that's not the, that's just not the way to say it. I don't know what it is. They took the words right out of my mouth. Do you remember WannaCry? They earned over a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> I have to feel like there might've been more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm leaving. <laughs> Purple Rain, this is another peculiar one. It's a new kind of anonymous marketplace. If you could uh, bump around in here, you can access the marketplace. Um, this will list out like malware that you could purchase, malware that you could get. But if this page ever loads again, right? I don't think we actually ever went to best market. That would be fun to look through. What's going on, CSS? Okay, there we go. Cascading style sheets, come back. There was a May market update they updated their wallet address 
So as usual, we should kind of take a gander uh, and see what they <laughs> searching for imperceptible. We should see what they've uh, maybe received or retrieved or actually anything. You could check out Monero. That might be kind of fun just, just as well. But see, the top listings here offers Async Rat, which you actually, I don't know if I released a video, but I, I, I'd showcase an Async Rat. Uh, Bitcoin mixing, Windows 10 Pro key, DDoS as usual. And if you were to go into malware, like you can click this section, that's a link, and you can see I'm loaded. Never mind, I broke the internet. Um, the <laughs> This, this address has, has zero transactions. <laughs> nice. This one's going to load for me. I was talking it up, and then you just decide to die. As usual. That happens to everything in my life. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, malware, wanna cry, Cerberus, Cerebrus, Cerebrus. <laughs> There's a typo there. Clop. Clop arrest was recent and cool. Warzone rat. Warzone Rat, Poison Phantom, NJ Rat, Agent Tesla, you see a lot, R77. Uh, the thing is, I'm clicking around. But you can't you can't sing and click on any of these or buy them. Do I have to reach out? You can advertise here. Oh, that's what I need. I need to, I need to spin up some advertisements over on the dark web. Okay. I'm clicking on their website too hard, apparently. We never did Best Market. Best Market was so funny when we ran into it the other day because uh, of, like, the strange Comic Sans <laughs> banner. <laughs> oh. Never changed. Never changed, Dark Web. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there was the valid coupon code. I remember we were having fun in here, but I don't know how much more there would be to get out of this. Other than browsing some of the products, that would be a little bit of fun. Designing code above by our experienced professional hackers. Who are you? Where? What are your credentials? Who are your hackers? Runs in stealth mode and sends everything to our servers to your portal. A little man in the middle thing. Learn the truth. Um, nothing else on that page. Okay. Oh, let's get that YouTube channel hacking. Because I know <laughs> we're joking. That's gonna that's gonna hit me. YouTube is the most widely used social network with over two point two billion people. Wow, what a target audience. What a Total addressable market. That's a TAM right there. It contains user personal conversations, photos, and sensitive data. Um, um, so this enumeration, this like it, like listing out all these other things, makes me lose the confidence and credibility that I would have, even if I were to have given you. It's now out the window. I, I got to be honest. I just got to be honest. Social network hacking, Twitter hacking, blah, blah, blah. Hotmail hacking. Who's going to hack Hotmail these days? <laughs> Hotmail Hotmail's still around, isn't it? What? This is a... So this, this claims to be cracking the passwords? Is it like checking for like the local cache or something? I don't know. Anyway, this video has been dragging on. We've just been goofing off, having a grand old time. But you know, maybe it's time to uh, it's time to step away. I think we looked through a lot of these weird, <laughs> silly sites. Not all of them malware marketplaces, but still a good, fun safari ride. Uh, lots of strange stuff. Maybe a little bit more ideas we could work through. If anyone would like to try and experimenting, maybe. I don't know, getting our hands on Pathfinder, poking around at that thing. It'd be kind of fun. <laughs> From humble beginnings, here we were at the OTX Zero Day Marketplace. <laughs> Go subscribe to that guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. 
We're just goofing off. Hey, thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for hanging out, watching this video. Um, I know I don't know what this video I don't know what this video series is doing. What's happening here? I have no idea. Uh, we're just kind of exploring. I don't know if there's remotely any good content that comes from this, but I figure we'll put it out there and I'll let you decide. So let me know in the comments below what else you're thinking, what else you'd like to see, what else we could do. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, but. Right now, showcasing it is kind of a, a good time. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you could please do those YouTube algorithm things, I would be super duper grateful. Uh, I'd love to see if you could like the video. Maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you think and subscribe. Hit that bell. Do all those things. Thanks. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. With the